Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, class. Hi, Carlos. Sara. Hello. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. Very good. Excellent. I'm good. I'm pretty good today. Thank you so much for asking. Gracias por preguntar. Let's wait for your classmates. Great. So let me get ready. Vamos a prepararnos con la plataforma. Just give me a second. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? ¿Qué tal su weekend? Good, bad, great. ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? Good. It was good. Muy bien, muy bien. Lluvioso, ¿cómo se es? Rainy. Rain es lluvia. Y si le agregamos Y al final, rainy, lluvioso. It was raining. Even right now it's raining. Está lloviendo ahí donde ustedes viven ahorita. Yes. It is, right? Because here in the place where I live, it is raining too. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready right now. What class is this one? Who can tell me? ¿Qué clase vamos ya? This is class number? Nine. Nine, imagine. Class number nine. And we have been doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Clase nueve de dieciséis. Eso significa que es semana tres, week number three. Next week, we are going to be concluding this course. Imagínense qué rápido vamos, ¿ok? Ocho en punto. Demos un minutito más para que se unan sus compañeros. Alícense with your notebook eh, or with anything else that you need to. Ya puedo ver a Auri, Maritza también. Jenny is in the Good class. Night, teacher. Hello. Okay, nine students. Nueve estudiantes apenas. Faltan muchos todavía. Aquí vienen ya. Noemi is in the class already. Catherine, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm good. And you? I'm good. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Hi, Noemi. Hi. Good night. Good night to you. Cristina. Hello, Cristina. Now we can see Cristina. Good night, Miss. Hello. Good night to you as well. Good evening to everyone. Bien, ya tenemos 11. Empecemos ya. Let's start right now. For today, or for this week, we are going to have section number four. Imagine section four. And the topic for section number four is whose genes are these? ¿De quién son esos genes? Whose genes are these? And part of the vocabulary in this section, it's about clothes. Today, we are going to have vocabulary about clothes. Pero antes de empezar, let's see. Clase anterior, class number eight. ¿Qué fue nuestro tema de la class number eight? ¿Quién se recuerda? Adjectives. Excelente. Estamos viendo adjectives. ¿Y para qué ocupamos los adjectives? For what do we need the adjectives in English? ¿Para qué necesitamos los adjectives? ¿Para qué los usamos, mejor dicho, en esta clase? To describe... Para describir la personalidad. Ah, only personality. Not right. Personality and... and 
personality and appearance. Very good. Ese fue el tema de jueves. Ahora vamos a agregar un poco de más de vocabulary. But as I mentioned before, clothes vocabulary. Ese es nuestro tema para ahora. Clothes vocabulary. Now I have Silvia. Welcome Silvia. Iván in the class. Rosa Karina. Mayra. Karina Alejandra. Excellent. Welcome to the class. Bien. Vámonos. Section number four. Whose jeans are these? But if I start the class by asking you, antes que nos vayamos a la platform, before we go to the platform, do you know vocabulary about clothes? What is the vocabulary that you can remember about clothes? Vocabulario de ropa. ¿Cuál se acuerdan o cuál usan más? Pants, Pants excellent. Shoes, t-shirt, t-shirt, jeans, hat, jeans, So you see, you already know a lot of vocabulary. Ya saben un montón de vocabulary. Let's make the introduction for the topic. 4.0. Look at the objective. In this class, you will learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. Particularmente, ropa que usamos para trabajar o para descansar. O llamémosle free time para nuestro tiempo que no estamos trabajando. ¿Ok? Free time or leisure. The vocabulary that we have is in this video. Let's watch this video and then we can practice. ¿Ok? Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. As you can see on the screen, the clothes which are on the image towards the left hand side are for work and the ones towards the right hand side are clothes for leisure. Let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Clothes for work. Shirt. Tie. Belt. Jacket, pants, suit, coat, shoes, blouse, scarf, skirt, high heels, raincoat, dress, clothes for leisure, hat, sweater, Jeans, gloves, boots, cap, t-shirt, shorts, socks, sneakers, pajamas, swimsuits. Now is your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. I would like for you to talk about the clothes that you wear for work and the clothes that you wear for leisure. If the clothes are not mentioned here, you should add them. For example, I wear a tie for work. I wear shorts at home. After you do this, Please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, let's see. Take a look at the picture that we have. Let me go back. Pants. And let's talk about the pronunciation. Clothes for work. And we have two people. We have a man and we have a lady, right? Miren, veamos el vocabulary that we have. 
What is he wearing? What is he wearing? ¿Qué está usando? Let's start with shirt. Short. Let's repeat. Short. Short. One more time. Short. 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 Very good. Short. 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 And then we have tie. 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 What is tie? Do you know what is the meaning of tie? Corbata. Corbata. Very good. Tie. And after that, we have this one. Belt. Belt. What is a belt? Belt. El cinturón. Belt. Cinturón. 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 That's it. Cinturón. Very good. Belt. Cinturón. And we also have. Look at this. Jacket. 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 Very good. In this case, it's the one that we use when we wear a suit, miren, este es otra palabra, o lo que él está usando ahorita es un suit, traje. Entonces el traje está compuesto de dos piezas, ¿ok? ¿Cuáles serían las dos piezas? Pen and the jacket. jacket. Porque todo lo demás es complementario, complementary. Entonces el suit, it is composed by... Pens and the jackets. Is it clear? Yes, yeah. right? Now yes. we have shoes. Shoes is always in plural shoes. in English. Shoes. shoes. Mm -hmm. What color shoes. are these shoes? These are shoes. Black, yes. shoes. Black. Mm -hmm. Black. Black shoes. Black shoes. Black shoes. Black shoes. He's also wearing a coat. Coat. Mm -hmm. coat. He has a jacket and he also has a coat. Coat. Un abrigo, un coat. Now look at this girl, this lady, right? She is wearing a blouse. 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 If you see this one, esta no es como una eh, bufanda, como tradicional, es más que todo como un pañuelo, pero también le llamamos scar. Scar. Yes. Ok, blouse scar. She is wearing a skirt. Skin. And high heels. High heels. High heels. High heels. What is the meaning of high heels? Who can tell me? High heels. Yes? High heels. ¿Qué son esos? High heels. Or in English, tacones, le decimos. And you can say high heels or you can high only heels. say heels. Pueden llamarlas solo así, las heels or high heels. High heels. Okay, high heels. I high heels. love high heels. I don't high like heels. high heels. Tacones, exactly. So... This is a type of shoes, un tipo de zapatos, high heels. And then we have raincoat, raincoat. This rain is coat. very useful when it is raining. Look, this is a raincoat. Rain. Uh -huh. This is a compound noun. Es un nombre compuesto, compuesto. rain, lluvia, and coat, abrigo, raincoat. 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 Rain 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 
and we have a dress. 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 Un vestido. Dress. Dress. Clothes for work. Dress. Can you mention some other examples? Dress. Mm -hmm. Some other examples for clothes for work. Do you have more examples? Más ejemplos para clothes for work. ¿Qué más llevamos al trabajo? Clothes for work. Any other example que ustedes se sepan. Clothes for work. Yes. Both. Mm -hmm. Botas. Mm -hmm. Ah, we Bo can have exactly boots. Boots. Okay, mm -hmm. interesting. Boots. Llevamos boots. botas al trabajo. Boots. What else? ¿Qué más? What else? Mm -hmm. Can you have jeans at work? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Sí. yes. Okay. We can have jeans at work, but how do we say, ¿cómo le llamamos entonces a los pantalones formales? Uh, yes? Pants. Pants. Como en el ejemplo, pants. chico, he was wearing pants. Okay, pants. Y hay otra, mi otra forma. Se la voy a deletrear. I'm just not sure about the spelling. Trousers. Los trousers. This is another way of saying pants in English. It's like a synonym. But let mm. me make sure. Me voy a asegurar del spelling. Trousers. Mm -hmm. Así es. Entonces, así como se escucha, si se escribe. Trousers. Son pantalones también formales. Trousers. Trousers. Bien. Let's go back. Clothes for work. Excellent. Now we have the examples about clothes for leisure. Or in other words, for free time. Leisure. Puede ser un sinónimo, free time. Ok, si quieren llamarle free time, it's the same idea. Leisure, free time, that's it. What do we have? Look at this girl, the girl in purple. What is she wearing right now? She is wearing a hat. Hat. Sweater. Hat. Very good. Sweater. 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 Jeans. Gloves. 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 And you mm. were mentioning these ones. Boots. 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 Hat. Sweater. Boots. Gloves. Boots. Boots. Very good. And this guy, let's start Hi. with this one, a cap, 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 cap. Uh -huh. ah, and just let's mention this one, ese tipo de gorros también le llamamos hat, y a los sombreros también le llamamos hat, okay, hat. just to make clear, hat, a los gorros se le llama hat, Y a los sombreros también se le llama hat. But look, este chico está usando una cap. Cap. He is wearing a cap. Gorra. Gorra. Mm -hmm. Look, he is wearing a t-shirt. T-shirt. Do you know what is the difference between t-shirt and shirt? Shirt. Shirt. What is the difference? Shirt is camisa and the shirt is camiseta. Ah, okay. But in English, how do we differentiate? How do we differentiate in English? T-shirt. 
Exactly. Yes. Camisetas, yes. Sí. shirt. Acuérdense del sonido, este sonido. T-shirt. Shirt. T-shirt. Very good job. Shirt. Mm -hmm. Shirt. Shirt. Esa también puede diferenciarse porque tiene botones. Ok, las shorts. T-shirts son las camisetas. Shirts tienen botones también y son muchas veces formales. Shirts. Shirts. Mm -hmm. Camisa polo. ¿Cómo se dice? Polo. Shirt. Le agregamos sí. la palabra polo. Polo shirt. Sí, polo shirt. Mira acá, la primera imagen, mm -hmm. clothes for work. Aquí tenemos la diferencia. Él está utilizando una shirt, shirt, shirt. formal. Es de las que tienen botones, manga larga incluso. But he is wearing a t-shirt. That is the difference. And he has or he is wearing shorts. Shorts. Socks. 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 Calcetines and Socks. sneakers. 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 And what are the sneakers? ¿Qué son los sneakers? Tapatía. Un chocolate. <laughs> yeah, right. Sneakers. No son los chocolates. Sería genial. Una marca de zapatos. Ah, será una marca de zapatos. Veamos aquí la picture. No, no es una marca de zapatos. It's not a brand. Uh -uh. So what is the difference? Hay diferencias. No. Tenis. Tenis es otra cosa, ¿saben? Sneakers and tenis are different. Bien. Zapatillas. Sneakers, sí, llamémosles a... Um, los que no son para uso deportivo. Tennis son los que usamos para deporte. Okay? Tennis. Tennis. Sneakers. For example, if you go jogging or running, you need to wear tennis. Si vamos a correr, necesitamos tennis. Sneakers serían como los Converse. ¿Han visto los Converse? Ese tipo de zapatos. Converse, zapatillas. It can be casual, ok, sneakers. Pero los zapatos formales le llamamos en general shoes. Oh. Mm -hmm. shoes. Shoes. It can be the category. That's why, look at the picture. Veamos que está utilizando el señor para el trabajo. This man for work, what is he wearing? Shoes. He is not Ooh. wearing sneakers. Look. Shoes. These are not sneakers. These are the sneakers because they are not formal. Is it clear the difference? Yes. 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 Very good. And the ones that we really love to wear at night. Pajamas. Pajamas. This Pajama. word exactly is always in plural. Look, we don't say pajama, we say pajamas. Pajamas. Yeah. Pajamas. Mm -hmm. Pajamas. And we also have swim suits. Swim suits. Swim, swim suits. Swim suits. ¿A dónde más vieron la palabra suit? Aquí, miren. Suit. What is the meaning of suit? Medias. ¿Qué traje. traje, miren, traje formal se le llama suit. Traje de baño es una palabra Así. combinada. Swim, mm -hmm. que es el verbo nadar, y luego ponemos traje. Swim suit. Traje de baño. Traje de baño. There you have the example. Suit, it's a formal swimsuit. Traje de baño. Can you mention some other examples about clothes for leisure or free time? Pueden darme más ejemplos. Clothes for leisure. Clothes 
Aquí está mi categoría, clothes for leisure. ¿Qué más podemos usar? Let me give you examples. Shorts. Sandals, exactly, shorts. Shorts, sandals. Do you know yeah. more examples? Yeah. Cap. Mm -hmm. This one, cap? Yes. Ah, very good, cap. ¿Qué más usamos? Dress. That dress, okay, yeah, exactly. Dress. That's it? Let me see if I have some other examples. Yes, tell me. How do you say uh -huh. ropa interior? How do you say ropa interior? Under, wear, underwear. Under, bajo, underwear. But look, I have some or similar examples. Similar examples here. Look at this one. What do I want you to do right now? ¿Qué quiero que hagamos? Clothes for work, clothes for free time. Which ones are only worn? Okay, this is activity for right now. Let's identify. Identifiquemos which clothes are worn son vestidas o son usadas by men by women and both ambos identifiquemos cuáles son usadas por mujeres, hombres y también para ambos ok let me ask you, jackets is this for men women or both Jackets. Both. 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 Very good. Shirts. Shirts. Men, both. women, or both? Both. Both. Ah, okay. Both. Sandals. 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 Women. Both. Ah, very good. Jeans. Both. 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 Boots. Boots. Both. 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 Excellent. Let me give you five minutes in groups. ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Identify which clothes are worn by men, women, and both. Is it clear what we are going to do? No. Yes. De la picture, de esta imagen que tenemos que vamos a identificar. Ah, ya, ya, ya uh -huh. entendí. Tengo tres categorías, si se fijan. Sí. Men, women, both. Hombres, mujeres y ambos. De esta imagen van a sacar ustedes las categorías. Let me give you. Five minutes. Yo creo que es mucho. Five minutes. Let's see if we can do it in less time. Let me send a picture to WhatsApp and you can work with your classmates. Here we go. Let's identify. If you can include some other examples, that's perfect. Or if you have questions, teacher, how do we say? You can ask me. Para que creemos nuestra lista larga, ¿ok? De ropa que usamos. Clothes we wear. Mm -hmm. Ok, I'm going to send a picture to WhatsApp right now. Just give me one second. After this activity, I am going to check the attendance list. Okay.
Great. Let's go to the groups right now. Let's work in groups of three. Grupo de tres. Let me see. Here we go. Groups of three and four. Here we go. Okay, it's time to work. Time to work, guys. You can share the screen. Share the picture in the screen if you want. Pueden compartir la imagen, okay? Here we go. Teacher. And tell me. Eh, mire, es, dice que como yo aquí se ha ido la luz, Ah, really? Uh -huh. Yo todo, estoy solo con mis datos, entonces no me veo aunque encienda la cama. Ah, ok, ok, Eric. Don't worry, no hay problema, no. No hay problema, si tengamos la cámara, entiendo. Okay. Don't okay. worry. Okay. Excelente, ¿quién está compartiendo? Great job. Uh -huh. Yo, ok, Natanael, ok, let's work. Okay. Trabajemos ahorita, let's work. Ok. Jacket sería de boat, ¿verdad? Lo que solo utiliza el hombre, la mujer o ambos. Clasifiquémoslo. Bueno. Traje de baño lo usan los dos, los tres, hombre, mujer, eh, box de hambo. Sí, sí. Traje de baño. Es, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Swin. 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 Sut, sut, sut. Como que le quitemos la i, solo decimos s u t. Sut, swim, sut. Swim, swim, sut. Excelente. Entonces, ese es bot, bot, para ambos. Bot. Tenis. Bot, bot, bot. Um, only woman, legends. Oh. Socks sería la, los calcetines, ¿verdad? For both. For both. Sí. Mm -hmm. For both. For both, sí. esos calcetines, este, para... Sí, también. Para ambos. For both, sí. Sneakers. Sneakers. Por bots. Porque ambos usan zapatos así como Converse. Sí. Uh -huh. Por bots. ¿Cómo era pijamas? Pajamas. 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 Por bots. Por bots. Sí. Cap. También por bots. La gorra. Sí. Por bots. Y swing sweets. Sweet es traje, no, ¿verdad? Sí, traje baño. Por bot. <coughs> sí. Porque swing creo que era pero para mujer, ¿verdad? Traje formal. Uh -huh. Por sweet.
Sí, entonces esas serían todas. Mm -hmm. el... Sí. Entonces, bien. Solo eso y vamos a hacerlo. Sí, vamos Para a esperar a que ella salga, que nos llame, ajá. salga del grupo, ajá, porque ella da un tiempo como estipulado. Y a veces llegan los grupos a revisar cómo se está trabajando. Ajá, sí. Uh -huh. Entonces vamos a esperar a que ella nos saque del grupo para vaya ahorita de salir de la sala. Uh -huh. Excellent. Time to come back. Did you finish? Yes. Terminamos. Yes. Yes. yes, you did. Excellent. Let's wait for your classmates. You know, you can find a lot of pictures with vocabulary about clothes in Google. Pueden ir y googlear, hay tantas imágenes con vocabulario de ropa. Remember, now we have so many options when we talk about clothes. Hay mucha, mucha opción de ropa. Clothes for girls, clothes for In Here in the country, yes, it's See, limited right? the clothes and ropa. Exactly. Tenemos tanto vocabulario, but in the class, that's why we are only covering clothes for work and for leisure. Por eso solo cubrimos dos eh, categorías aquí en la clase, porque si nos ponemos a hablar de clothes in general, we are not going to finish with the class. Okay? Let me check the attendance list before we continue with this activity. Please, if you listen that I mentioned your name, say here or present. Aquí vamos, empiezo con Auri Joana. Present. Excellent. Cristina America. Present, Miss. Delmis Elizabeth. Present. Eric David. Is Eric David in the class? Eric, no. Okay. Eric Omar. Present. Fernando Heriberto. Present. Excellent. Guadalupe Elena. Iván Alexander. Present. Jenny Elizabeth. No, Karen Jamilex. Is Karen in the class? Karen. No. Don't forget to write your complete name, please. Karina Alejandra. Present. Catherine Yasmin. Present. Lillian Abigail. Mayra Xiomara. Present, teacher. Maritza Elizabeth. Present teacher. Natanael Adonai. Present teacher. Noemí Esperanza. Present. Rosa Karina. Present. Ruth Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ok. Santos Carlos. Present teacher. Sara Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sara y Dania. Silvia Elizabeth. Present. Sofía Michelle. Present. Susana Elizabeth. Present. Toyita Eunice. Yes, where is she? Ahí estamos, excellent. Yesenia Carolina. Jocelyn Yvette. Present teacher. 
And soy la esperanza. Present. Very good job. Ok, aquí estamos ya. Ok, class. Listen, what are we going to do right now? We are going to compare what you have done with your classmates. Let me see. Um, Rosa Karina, can you give me your examples about clothes for women? What are your examples? Clothes for women. Uh, for women, hi. Uh, high heels, high dress, heel. excellent. Dress, okay. Skirt, excellent. Gloves, gloves. That's it. Mm -hmm. Do you have some other examples, class? Alguien que quiera agregar más? Any other examples? Women. No. Uh, swim. Shoes. High oh, shoes. shoes. Very I, good. Sweater. High heels, ah, okay, excellent. So, let's see, Fernando. Give me, Fernando Heriberto, give me the examples about clothes for men. Uh, there you Pants, shoes, shoes, sweet, jeans. And jeans. Do you have some other examples, class? Any other example that you want to add? Suit. Suit. Sure. Suit. Recuerden que traje es para ambos. Uh -huh. It can be for men as well. Shoes, exactly. Shoes. The sneakers. Sneakers, exactly. Are for men. Socks. Socks, excellent. El. Tie, la corbata, tie. Hat, hat and cap. Those are for Pants. men. Pants, exactly. Sweater. Sweater is for men as well. Jeans. Jeans, of course. Let's shorts. see. Oh, shorts as well. Jacket. Jacket, jacket. Very good. Eh, yes, Carlos. Gabardine. Ah, okay. Yeah, I like it that, that example as well. Natanael, now can you mention both? What are the clothes that <coughs> both men and women can wear? Natanael, please. The ropa. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. The dress. Uh, to... Sure, aplica para ambos. No, both, ambos. ¿Será que dress lo puede usar men and women? What oh, do you think? Ambos. Right? Uh, ambos, uh, yes. Uh, uh, jacket. Jacket. Ya lo iba a escribir acá. Mm. Very good. Jacket, excellent. Quiero... De la picture que enviamos, Quiero... lo que estuvimos haciendo ahorita. What are your examples? Mm, ahorita. Ok, don't worry. Regreso shoes. a Natanael. Ok, mm. shoes. Vamos, give me more Bet. example. Ok. Bed. 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 What is a bed? No. Mm, cincho. Ah, belt. Un cinturón. Belt. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Yeah. Sigo. <laughs> okay, don't yeah. worry. Let me see, Noemi, do you have some examples? Great job, Nathaniel. Thank you. Noemi, do you have some other examples? Yes. Okay, what are your examples? Uh, for both. For both. Okay. Um, oh, scarf. A scarf, Glove. very good. Gloves, coat, coat, excellent. Boots, 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 boots. Slippers, 
identify sleepers. What is a sleep? Do you know the meaning of a sleepers class? ¿Qué son esos? Sleepers. ¿Quién sabe qué son? Vuelto de dormir, no entiendo. Sleepers. Pantuflas. ¿Ah? Pantuflas, muy bien. Sleepers. Sleepers. Pantuflas. I was about to show you a picture. Look. Sleepers. These are the, do you have a sleepers or do you like sleepers? Yes. Yes, right? Sleepers. Son las pantuflas. Sleepers in English are pantuflas. Excellent. Sleepers is a great example. Now it's time to, thank you, Noemi. Time to make sentences. How do we express in English vocabulary about clothes? Or how do we make affirmative sentences about what we wear and what we don't wear? This is a clear example. Let's go to my board and let's write some examples. I wear, in my case, I wear jeans for work, para mi trabajo. I wear jackets. O escribámoslo en singular. I wear a jacket for work. I wear a dress for work. Three examples about for work. But when I go or when it's my free time, I wear sleepers, like que acabamos de ver en imagen, at home. En sí no vamos a agregar la expresión for leisure, no, para mi tiempo libre. Llamémosle en cualquier otra actividad que no sea home. I wear sleepers at home. I wear shorts to go to the supermarket. This is the second example. And I wear swimsuit to go to the beach. Look at my three examples. Is it clear what we are going to do? Right now, I need you to give me three examples using the expression for work. Deme tres ejemplos utilizando for work, para mi trabajo, para el trabajo. I have three examples here. You can make similar examples. And activities that are not work. En su casa. Para ir al supermarket. Or to go to the beach. ¿Qué otras actividades hacemos fuera del trabajo? I go to the supermarket. Ah, exactly. ¿Cómo hacemos para sport? To practice sports. ¿Qué más? What else? Play soccer. Okay, I like it to play soccer. You can give me your examples about to play soccer. I wear, I wear. In English, remember the verb that we are going to use is wear. No podemos decir I use jeans. No. Cada prenda de vestir, el verbo que se usa es I wear, including glasses. This is incorrect in English. The first expression is not correct. I use, never, please never say I use. The correct expression is I wear. Incluimos los lentes. I wear glasses, yo uso. 
incluyendo el makeup. ¿Sabían eso? Hasta el maquillaje. I wear makeup. Makeup. Eh, ¿Qué más utilizamos? Jewelry, joyería. Por ejemplo, your earrings, your watch. Su reloj de mano también. I wear, I am wearing a watch. So those accessories in English are also considered as clothes. And we are going to express that we are wearing these accessories. I am wearing glasses or I wear glasses. I wear makeup. I wear jewelry. I wear a watch. ¿Está claro este verbo? ¿Qué verbo vamos a utilizar? Wear. 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 Nunca vamos a decir I use. No. Please do not. Usamos otras cosas. I use the computer. I use my cell phone. Eso sí es usar. Use. Wear. Vestir. Vestir. Bien. Le doy three minutes. Tres minutos para que me hagan tres oraciones. Usando for work in three sentences with different activities that are not work. Three sentences for work and three sentences using activities that are not about your job or your work. Here we go. Seis oraciones. If you have questions about vocabulary, you can ask me. Or if you finish, you can say, teacher, I finish. Teacher, do you have uh, sentences? Yeah, please. Escribamos tres y tres. Six sentences, please. Word. Home eh, y otra actividad. Vale, tenemos dos categorías. Work, para mi trabajo, no importa lo que yo haga. Y le llamamos leisure o para mi tiempo libre. ¿Qué actividades okay. hago en mi tiempo libre? I go to the supermarket. I go to the beach. Those are the examples. Ok. Very good. Two more minutes, two more. Did you finish? Okay, while you finish, mientras termina, let me stop sharing. I want to listen to you. Quiero escucharlos, okay? Let me listen to you. Let's see. Esperanza, what do you work for work? Um... I wear makeup for work. Excellent. I wear high 
heels for work. Excellent. I wear blouse for work. Very good job. Excellent examples. And Karina Alejandra, what do you wear for work? I wear dress for work. Excellent. I wear tennis to go to the park. Oh, to go to the park. Excellent. I wear a scarf. A scarf. And a scarf. Okay, scarf. Scarf. For work. For work, excellent. Ivan, can you give me your examples, please? Ivan, thank you, Alejandra. I wear cups for the work. Okay. I wear sne sneaker in the gym. Oh, excellent. I wear sock and the watch TV. Very good. To watch TV, wow, well, it's no interesting. More. Yeah. No more, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, interesting. Cambiamos un poquito la estructura ahorita. Miren, what is he or she wearing? ¿Qué están usando? He is wearing. She is wearing. Él está usando, ella está usando. Otra vez. What is he wearing? What is she wearing? He is wearing. She is wearing. Let's see. We still have five minutes. Let's describe. And let me start with you. Vamos a ver. Class, what is he wearing? What is Ipan wearing right now? Describamos, what is he wearing? He's wearing, he's a, wearing, a, a, he's wearing a red shirt. Great job. What is Sylvia wearing right now? She's, she's wearing, wearing a uh, uh, she's wearing a t-shirt. Excellent. She is wearing um, wake makeup. Ah, she's wearing makeup and earrings. también. Very good job. Let me see what is Rosa Karina wearing. She's wearing, she's wearing a blouse red. Is that a blouse? Mm, I don't think it's a blouse. A teacher. A teacher. A teacher, no. T-shirt. No. T-shirt. <laughs> no, come on, class. I got a scared. T-shirt. T-shirt. Excellent. Vamos a ver. Maritza. What is Maritza wearing right now? ¿Qué está usando Marita? She's wearing a sunglasses. She's wearing a glass. Oh, glasses. 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 Polo shirt. shirt. Muy bien, polo sí. shirt. And Mayra, what is Mayra wearing right now? Hay algo que le resalta. I wear glasses. She's wearing glasses, exactly. And is that a shirt, t-shirt, or blouse? No, t-shirt. Mm -hmm. It's a t-shirt. And can you tell me about Natanael, please? What is he wearing? He's wearing glasses. Sweater. Wearing... Huh? Perdón, he's wearing glasses. glasses. A jacket. He's wearing glasses. Glasses? Yeah. He is wearing t-shirt. Wait, she or she? He is wearing? Okay, okay. She. 
Is that a shirt? Uh, shirt. T-shirt. T-shirt. Come on. Repitamos eso. T-shirt. Teacher, t-shirt, una teacher está diciendo que es eso, mira, pausa, hay una pausa incluso, y hay diferentes sonidos, t-shirt, teacher. teacher es una teacher. sola palabra, teacher, chair, teacher, teacher, y teacher va con este sonido que es más suave, teacher, esta lleva dos, secciones, llamémosle, y un sonido más fuerte. T-shirt. 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 ¿Ok? ¿Es claro ahora? ¿Ves si está claro? Yes, right? For tomorrow, yes. I'm going to ask you again about vocabulary from, for work and for leisure time. Mañana les vuelvo a preguntar, ¿ok? Siempre hacemos un repaso antes de iniciar sobre nuestra clase previa. Questions, comments about this class. Les escucho. Yes. ¿No? No. ¿No? ¿Cómo, está? ¿Cómo estamos con el tema? Section number four. Are we good or not? Teacher? Very good. Oh, very good. Excellent, Maritza. Very good. Ah, oh, very good. No more questions. No. Ok, solo nos queda entonces practicar. Let's practice. Mañana empezamos la clase practicando vocabulary. We are going to stop the class here and let's see you tomorrow, class. See you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye bye, Good class. Night. Good, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night to you.